Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. I've made a couple videos recently about the state of certain games, specifically early access games, Grey Zone Warfare, Arena Outbreak. And I wanted to make another video because I'm hearing a lot of things going on around these games, the types of things that people are saying, and the constant comparisons that are being made. Overall, I feel like we need to address this a certain way in order to allow gaming to grow and to thrive. So let's jump straight into the video and I'm gonna break down exactly where I stand on those things and what I really mean. Now again, to reference the two videos that I recently made over the last two weeks, Grey Zone Warfare released into basically pre-alpha. Wasn't that much, $34.99. A lot of people have been playing it. Some people have been playing it successfully, relatively speaking, and a lot of people really haven't been able to play it at all. Arena Outbreak Infinite, a mobile game that was rebuilt for PC just went into closed beta as well. And if you've seen anything on these games, if you've followed them, if you've been one of the few people who have been able to play the games, then you're already aware of the numerous comparisons to Escape from Tarkov. The Tarkov controversy is no secret at this point. Everyone is aware of it. That's not what this video is gonna be about. However, it is gonna be about my view on the relationship that we as the gaming community, the creators, the gamers have with these types of games. Now, my stance on early access gaming has been pretty clear and I do stand by that. It's a double-edged sword though. It's unfortunate because now with the access that everyone has, especially people with money behind them when they're developing a game, it's really just the model, the way things are done. You create a game, you release it into early access, into alpha or to beta. You charge a reasonable price for it to fund your endeavor, and you get feedback from the community on how to further build the game. I don't inherently think there's anything wrong with that model 100%. It does become murky when you start charging more and more money, however, for something that still isn't finished. Escape from Tarkov is a prime example of that, and the fact that they've done what they've done with the Unheard Edition and doubled down on that decision without really any regard for how the community felt is exactly what I mean when I talk about fraudulent practices, corrupt practices in early access gaming. Now, to touch on games like Grey Zone and Arena Outbreak, my biggest issue with where things are when I see these games and watch other creators talk about these games and listen to the people who are commenting on what they think of these games is this mentality that's also prominent in just the consumer market in general, which is that there has to be some sort of monopoly on gaming. And the fact that we've played COD or Battlefield or Rainbow Six, whatever it may be, Escape from Tarkov for the last five, 10, 15 years for some reason means that there can't be another game exist in that space. And I just don't understand where that's coming from. Now again, to be perfectly clear, I do have very strong and sometimes ambiguous opinions on early access games, where those games fall into the genre of gaming as a whole, their practices, etc., etc. But this is mainly focusing on the idea that two or three or even more games in the same niche can exist exist at the same time. You'll see it all over the place. Comments, forums, videos. This is a Tarkov killer. It's a Call of Duty killer. It's a Battlefield killer. No, it's not. No, it's not. They're ripping this off. They're ripping that off. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no reason that multiple games in the niche can't exist at the same time. Just because Grey Zone Warfare exists does not mean that Tarkov can't exist. And it also doesn't mean that Arena Breakout can exist. You take an idea, you iterate on it, you make it into your own little version of that idea, you see what people think. If you're tired of playing Tarkov, doing the same quests that you've been doing for the last 10 years on the same maps, then maybe you want to play Grey Zone. The systems are the same, yes, but the environment's different, the gameplay loop is a little bit different. Same with Arena Outbreak. The system is the same, but there are new maps, new quests. The game feels a little different. It works a little different. They're providing you with a slightly different version of something you're familiar with, and there's nothing wrong with that. So the constant comparison to Tarkov, to Call of Duty, to Battlefield, 
makes no sense to me. Not everything that releases has to be a killer of something else. It can exist at the same time. And quite frankly, another game does not need to release for, t for Tarkov, for a game like Tarkov, to be dead. They've done a pretty good job of shooting themselves in the foot there on their own. Just because Battlefield exists doesn't mean Call of Duty can exist. They're different experiences that provide familiarity within the same genre, within the same niche. You get tired of playing one, you take a break, you play another. Maybe you want a slower paced game, you play Rainbow Six, you play Tarkov, you play Grey Zone, PUBG. Maybe you want a faster paced experience, you play Apex, you play Call of Duty, you play the finals. That doesn't mean that one game has to be a killer of another game. If anything, the studios themselves and their practices are going to be the definitive catalyst in whether or not that game survives or not. Not the fact that another game in the same genre releases alongside it. Grey Zone Warfare up to this point has had pretty abysmal performance across most platforms. So it's not a Tarkov killer and it doesn't need to be. What Grey Zone needs to be is a game that functions well for Grey Zone. It's the same with Arena Outbreak. The game functions really well. It performs really well. It doesn't offer quite as much depth as Tarkov does yet, but that's because it's a beta game, hasn't released yet, and it's a different flavor of something we're familiar with. All in all, what I'm saying in this video is that early access games, alpha games, beta games need to be approached with a healthy amount of skepticism and concern, but they also need to be approached in such a way that we allow games to come out to provide something new and to grow. The reason people are so fed up with practices from companies like EA or Blizzard is because we've allowed them to get away with doing what they do because we keep playing those games exclusively and spending money on those games exclusively. The only way we get around that is to stop putting everything that releases under a microscope from day one and instead allow it to exist, allow it to grow, obviously approach it with some concern and some feedback, don't invest hundreds of dollars into something that's not done yet, but allow the game to breathe. The gaming industry, at least in a first-person shooter perspective, is really in desperate need of new experiences. Because I don't know about you guys, but I've been playing Apex Call of Duty Battlefield for like the last six years. And uh, to be honest with you, I'm getting a little tired of it. So to see games like Grey Zone come out, Arena Outbreak come out, to me are great, great things. It does concern me a little that these games release so soon and with a lot of work to be done, but unfortunately, no matter how I feel about it or you feel about it, that just is the model of gaming now. I get it, I don't necessarily like it, but there's not a whole lot we can do about it. We have to try to let these games breathe. Let them grow. Let them exist alongside other games we know and love. They don't have to kill each other. They don't have to monopolize and take over every other game in that genre. The whole thing, the whole purpose, the beauty behind interactive entertainment, music and movies, games, art, whatever, is that you get all sorts of different experiences from different people, different viewpoints, different backgrounds. So let it be. Is Grey Zone Warfare a Tarkov killer? No. The game barely runs. Is Arena Outbreak a Tarkov killer? No. It's a different experience. And quite frankly, I'm not on Tarkov's side at this point. I haven't played Tarkov in quite some time. Don't plan on it. I'm certainly not going to pay $250 for an alternative expansion. So let Tarkov kill themselves, if anything. That's the gist of my rant today, though, guys and gals. I appreciate you stopping by the channel. If you're new, dig through the archive of videos. We do live streams every Tuesday, every Thursday, every 
Sunday here, as well as on Twitch. We are now multi-streaming on Twitch. We're growing over there. We're growing here. We're trying to build a community, get people involved in these conversations. It's easy to stand up on a soapbox and talk to yourself about what you think and how you feel. But I really encourage and appreciate the engagement from everyone who listens to these, watches these videos. So let me know what you think. Let me know how you feel about it. That's how I feel. I'm getting a little tired of hearing people say things like that and see that. Rather than just appreciate the game for what it is and what it could be, what it may actually turn into, the constant comparison to everything we already have that we've been playing for years and years and years. And to beat it all, we're constantly burned by these studios. And yet we're still comparing new experiences to what they've been providing us. Doesn't make any sense to me. I'll end it there though. Again, throw a like on the video if you enjoyed it. If you have something to say, if you agree, you disagree, let me know. If you feel inclined to subscribe because of how much you enjoyed it that's even better i'd love to have you here love to have you in the live streams head over to twitch as well if that's your preferred platform drop a follow there again we're live three days a week uh, we're trying to keep it interesting guys we're trying to keep games in the rotation we need a healthy community of games not every game that releases early access or otherwise has to be a killer of another game. Just let the game grow, let it breathe, let it develop an identity, give the feedback that's required to do so, and play what you wanna play depending on what type of experience you wanna have at that time. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I'll catch you guys in the next video.